Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Berry and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. All of the products that you see today can be purchased in my online shop. You will not find them in the high, on the high street and on shopping channels. So today I'm making a Valentine's Day card and I only make one a year, if at all, to be honest. I make so many cards and this year I will be making an effort so I'm really going to go to town on this. I've got a new stamp set called Hey Love and I love all these little images and I think it's quite nice for me to send um, to my husband. So um, he likes a little bit of humour so I'm going to be using a combination of all of the animals um, mainly focusing on the gorilla or the ape and saying I'm ape over you. Okay so here we go. So the card I've cut slightly differently, it is a piece of A4 that's been cut in half. This is the other half of it. So this has been cut at 10.5 centimetres on my paper trimmer. And then because our cards are normally um, about 14.8 centimetres width here, it doesn't really matter where you put your score lines as long as this middle section is 14.8 centimetres. But I will tell you what my uh, measurements are. So this was five centimetres. Um, so you, you pop it in the trimmer. Oops. You pop it in the trimmer at five, and then you score. And then what you do is you follow this, look at this line, line it up with roughly 15, 14.8 centimetres and then you score again here. So it doesn't matter where you do your two score lines provided that you have the middle section at 14.8 centimetres which is um, five and, what do we say, I can't remember, five and seven eighths, all right? And then we have some pieces that go on the card. So we've got this one here. So this is like a basic mat, which is five millimeters smaller. So we have, this is 14.3 by 10 centimeters. All of the measurements will be listed on my website. If you just follow the link in the description, it will take you to my blog post. This one is four and a half centimeters by 10. And this is uh, 10 by nine and a half, I think. Let me check. Yeah. All right, so we've got three pieces of white. Um, before I glue them down, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Now these animals, I'm not going to color in. So we have a skunk, I will just mount him for us to see that. When you mount your cling stamps, split the paper, it's got a handy line, pop your stamp over the top and look around the edges. Once you do this you can't take the sticker off, they are super sticky. There we go. I just flip them over, give it a rub, and then peel it off. So that's ready to go on our block. So we have one there, and then we're going to do the bird. And we also have a crocodile alligator. We 
once you get the hang of um, putting, your, putting your stickers on the back, you can do them quite quickly. There we go. And then lastly, we'll do the little hamster. I think it's a hamster, like a little gerbil. So I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus. Just makes it a bit easier for me. I have some grid paper down on my Stamparatus. You can buy the, that cut to size in a pack. I'm going to pop my white card. There, let me turn it over. And now all my little characters can go along the bottom edge of this card here. The bird fits nicely in there. Let's move him along there. Okay, I like this little gang. They've all got love hearts of some kind. So the love hearts are on this uh, crocodile's head, on his hat. This bird is holding one in his beak. Um, the hamster's holding one. And then this skunk has got love hearts in the air. Right, so I've got them in position. Um, I will just lower those down a bit. Um, the plate picks up these cling stamps absolutely beautifully flip it over I'll use memento because I'll be doing some blends using some blending blender pens sorry stamping blends in a minute and the beauty of using the stamparatus is if I've missed a little bit I can go back over and keep stamping so I'm happy with that little gang of uh, animals so that's going to go inside here I use the Tombow because I can give it a little wiggle because I, I know I won't be perfect perfectly straight all of the time Okay, so there's the first bit of our card. When you put your animals down at the bottom, make sure you have this flap, the smaller flap on the right hand side. Right, so next we're going to play with some new hearts in the spring summer catalog. And they can be found Here we go. They can be found on page six. They are the Be Mine Stitched Framelit dies. Now I'm using these two here. They're really big love hearts. And they're very, very detailed. This one just cuts a dashed line without cutting a shape out. If you want the shape to be cut out, you use it in conjunction with this one so we have two cut lines on this die, one here which is a straight one and the outer one is the scallop. So you use those two together and that will give you one heart with dashed lines and then one frame. You use this one on its own if you, want, um, if you don't want to cut any dashed lines out, you can just have a heart without any um, any dash lines. So we'll do them together to start with because I want um, I want some white to stamp on to. Here it is. This is my piece of scrap white and now it's a thick whisper white because I'm going to do my colouring in.
There we go. Can you see that? How pretty is that? So that's that. Now we can do the stamping. So we need the Gorilla. And this too can have its label stuck on the back. So nice to do this when you get a brand new stamp. There we go. Now this block is far too big, but it's okay. I'm inking them up again with the same ink as before, the Memento Tuxedo Black. And he's gonna sit inside this heart. I love it. Whoops. Now I have some blends. And first off, I'm going to colour the heart in with the real red light. Just like that. And then I've just grabbed some colours here, which I've got smoky slate in light and dark, and then the basic black in light and dark. So I'm going to start with the smoky slate light and work my way up. So we'll do his hands and his feet, his chest, and then his face. do the dark with the brush tip this time because it's a bigger surface area <laughs> this is so fun to colour in. Okay, I think that will do. So now I'm going to cut a heart in red. I'm not using the middle. These dies have handy little holes, so if they do get stuck, you can just carefully pop them out. Okay. So, next what I need to do is glue these pieces on. on there. Now this one I am going to stamp and I'm going to use this 
stamp which says Hey Valentine. Again in black. Make sure this piece is the right way up because it is very nearly square, so you've got to make sure you've got the right right sides. Hey Valentine. Glue this one down. We will be stamping this smaller white, but not quite yet. Need to get everything in position first. There we go. Now, when you open this, we're going to position these hearts. Um, so we'll have one like that. I don't know if we'll use this. Not sure yet. So with foam pads, we want to put foam pads on this side of the heart, so don't go over this line. So I'll go down like that. together it's coming together now we need this yeah we will use this we need this down there um so I'm putting a tiny bit of glue And then with your scissors, we're just going to cut up there. So use that grey as a, a guide. Like that. Alright. So it looks like it's half a heart. And then what we'll do is glue this one in position on the other side. Just the tiniest amount of glue. If you have adhesive sheets, which I do have, I could have used adhesive sheets, this would make this process a little bit easier. So we're basically putting this heart back together again. Whoops. I love it so far. Okay, now I'll bring my little A pin. Um, and this is going to go over the top of this red one. Just thinking, I will chop this as well. Yeah. That's better.
There we go. Now my idea was this will sit on here and open out. Yeah. And we just want this side glued down. Oh, it looks great. And now, the reason for not stamping this yet is so we know where the hearts sit. I'll just mount this. Again, use the black. Now this is going to open. You could stamp it there, but I'm reluctant to do that. Now I've popped some foam pads on there. So I will just pop it underneath where this heart is. So under there. completely happy with this so I'm just going to add some red to these hearts it just lifts it a bit without having to colour all of the animals oh I love them aren't they lovely <laughs> and there you go all done so i hope you followed that thank you for taking the time to watch and help me work the card out i had my basic idea um i knew i wanted it to open like this uh, i'm really happy with it so tom's going to be a very lucky uh lucky boy this year <laughs> this valentine's thanks so much for watching if you have any questions or would like any more information about the measurements for this card please just go to the link at um, the bottom of the video in the description or go to stampwithsarah.co.uk and i'll tell you all of the measurements all right thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again on the next video bye